From Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader, this is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Wendy Ryan. Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your ABC Action News Now headlines. Two Paul County men are accused of stealing money from children while acting as the president and vice president of a children's baseball league. Deputies say John Sprague and Larry Blevins stole $56,000 combined during the fall 2017 and spring 2018 season. The league says that money could have been spent on new equipment and improvements, and they say they're still trying to recover. Major new developments about a possible cancer cluster linked to Bayshore High School in Bradenton. A Manatee County Commissioner says the state health department has completed its investigation. Doctors have diagnosed more than 300 former students and staff of Bayshore High with cancer. Researchers spent the last year surveying another 240 cancer cases. The results will now go to Tallahassee for review. Starting this weekend, walkers and bikers will be able to explore one St. Pete neighborhood more safely. On Saturday evening, crews will be turning on new LED lights along a stretch of the Pinellas Trail that runs through the Warehouse Arts District west of downtown. The trail will now stay open until 11 p.m. between the 20th and 24th Street. Meanwhile, ABC Action News is searching for the truth about a century old mystery, and you can see our push for answers about possible lost graves under the Hillsborough County Tax Collector's Office on our website at abcactionnews.com. And now here's Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips with your forecast. Dennis. Hey, Wendy, so tracking a front that's coming through, bringing us some rain overnight. I think by Saturday morning, everything begins to wind down. The showers should be out of here for the most part. Still some lingering clouds by lunchtime. Skies begin to clear and then you're going to notice the cooler air, the drier air. Some real nice weather later on Saturday into Sunday and that continues into early next week. All right, thanks, Dennis. You can now get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And don't forget to download our free ABC Action News app.